Well, anyway, this particular incident uh, won't seem possible, I suppose, to the modern person, but this happened on Congress Avenue. It seems that my uncle Asher, the older of the two boys, was eager for fireworks for July 4th, and uh, he never had had any. They just hadn't gone in for such things. But there were some fireworks, little firecrackers, on sale. So Grandfather had bought a bunch of these little uh, penny-type ones, all bound together by a thread, uh, which he was going to bring home to Uncle Asher. He had these in the pocket of the sack coat that he always wore. And he was walking down the avenue on his way home, because whenever the horse was sick, he walked from the church home and from home to the church. So he was walking down the avenue intending to come home. But it just happened at that very moment that Ben Thompson, the sheriff, spotted his quarry uh, down the block, just in line beyond uh, Dr. Sloop. So Ben Thompson let loose with his gun. The bullet went right through Dr. Smoot's pocket and the fireworks and simply set Dr. Smoot on fire. He <laughs> was exploding with the fireworks and uh, burned out the sack coat and fired his pants and, and got him to the skin. And uh, Ben Thompson went right on and got his man and uh, dealt with the man, but then learned from passers by what had happened to his bullet going through Dr. Smoot's fireworks. So the next day he came around and uh, gave Grandfather more than the price of a suit plus a good collection of fireworks for Uncle Asher. And the uh, scorches on his skin soon healed and he himself told it as a funny story. In fact, he, he must have had a sustaining sense of humor uh, which showed it many, many times in his life.